of 30 now, not with a bang, but with a whimper, ends an iconic piece of Rhode Island history. Having been shut down for years and allowed to waste away as a waterfront eyesore, what's left of the old Rocky Point Amusement Park is vanishing under the bite of a bulldozer now. NBC 10 Sierra Putman has more on that. Sierra? Well, Gene, this is day two of demolition to the well-known Palladium at the old Rocky Point Amusement Park. And DEM says it plans to put in a park and open that park as soon as this fall. The rusted remains of Rocky Point Amusement Park are clear for everyone to see here in Warwick. Sad. Sad. Because we used to go to the, the short, short dinner. dinner hall. And it was fantastic. Frank Wunderler and his wife Nancy used to visit the attraction. The couple used to go on dates at the Palladium. Well, I like going to the Palladium dancing because yeah. I love that music in that era. Now the sounds of demolition are music to her ears. She's excited the Department of Environmental Management plans to clear the land and open it as a park. The amusement park closed after going bankrupt back in 1995. The state bought the land 18 years later, and now demolition crews are finally tearing down parts of the Palladium. Right now, this gate separates the state's land from the city's land. But DEM says once demolition is through, well, this gate will come down and the land will be open to all. The majority of the work to be done in 75 days. So the idea is by the time fall rolls around, we should be able to open it up, at least for public events. DEM director Janet Coit says at first, the park will have walking paths and places to fish down the line. They also want to restore the dock and take ideas from the public. Eventually, I I'd love to see America run. The Wanderlers say it will never be the same as it was, but they're excited to make new memories. And DEM says it has enough money to finish the demolition stage and open the park, but they are going to need private funding if they want to develop that land any further. Reporting live in the newsroom, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News. All right, Sierra, thanks.